you coming? Baby, get the popcorn. <clears throat> Do you always bring food? Do you always ask me dumb questions? You know you're not going to like this, right? Why? It was a bad movie? No. Then why not? Because these two talk through the entire thing. Is this one of them foreign films with subtitles? No, it's a Negro film, and these two think they're the narrated bonus feature. Oh, it's the bootleg. The last few times we were together, they did, but I don't think they'll do it every time. Every time. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. About to start the movie. <laughs> I love how this one starts. <laughs> oh, don't tell us what it is. I'm not going to tell you. See? Watch, baby. He's about to kill her. See? I didn't tell you. I told her. Don't tell me either. Yeah, she's right. We want to see what happens as it unfolds. And surprisingly, movies now have their own dialogue. All right, guys, calm down. Shh, I can't hear the movie. Marcus. Yeah, shh. We can hear you. Guess we're even. Just everybody, shh, so we can watch the movie, please. Hold up, he about to kill her. Yep. But seriously? Shh. She about to she about fall to... down, fall down, fall down. Fall down? Girl, you better run. She about to try. But well, watch. She gonna break her leg. Right there. Baby, can we go now? Yeah, I think we should. You know what? You two really need to be quiet, okay? Be quiet. You know we're sitting here trying to watch a movie. Girl, she's still trying to run. He behind a tree, fool! But her leg is broke. It's broke. Uh, hop, girl, hop! <laughs> hop in the tree. Too late. He about to grab that axe. What? He gonna throw it at her. Splat. What happened? He killed her. And you killing me. She ain't dead yet, watch. <laughs> Would you just relax, babe? <laughs> Trying to relax. Shh. I'm missing the movie. Yes, I am. Baby, you talk too much. Don't they? I can't believe that just happened. Did you see that? <laughs> Watch, you're going to catch her behind the tractor. Marcus, would you please stop telling us everything before it happens? Sorry. I can't watch. I can't watch. You guys, what happened? I can't watch. Uh, nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, gosh. The music. The music. It's the music. Uh, Angela, why do you watch scary movies if you're going to cover your eyes the entire time? Oh, because I want Marcus to tell me what happened. <laughs> Come on, baby. Is it over? Huh? Is it over? Almost to the good part. Marcus. What? You're ruining the experience. What I tell you? What happened? You told me not to tell you. Baby, I told you not to tell me before it happens, but after it happens, tell me. So how does it end? She's going to fall down a second time, and he's going to be standing right there over her, and then he's going to pick her up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me, baby. Don't tell me. Gosh, why do you think I cover my eyes? Now you confuse me. The cinematic experience. It's supposed to be 
a cathartic and emotional journey as the film unfolds, not an ongoing narration that bores into your brain and sucks the life force from your body as people nosh on burnt microwave popcorn. My God! No, this is the last time you convinced me to do this. I'm sorry, babe. Calm down. From now on, we watch movies at Bob and Melinda's house. <clears throat> babe, they're hearing impaired. Yes, and I am good with subtitles. Oh, you two get on my nerves. Y'all really do get on my nerves. Y'all can't come over no more and look at the movies. I'm serious. I cannot wait for this movie to be over so y'all can leave. Y'all just make me sick. Ugh, hmm. this is awful. Yeah, tell me about it. And this is the end. And she died. That's it? Baby, just like that? That's crazy. You know, caramel and macaroni and cheese really go good together. Hey, honey, what is Keisha doing calling here this late at night? It's like we can't get rid of this woman. She's at work now all the time. No. Don't answer it. You know, I got to. Marcus. Baby, you know, Keisha knows not to call to hear it this late at night without it being an emergency for Dominique. <clears throat> I bet it ain't. It better be an emergency or else the next call she makes is going to be 911. Hello? No, no. What's going on? When? Sure. Yeah, we're on our way. Baby, what happened? Dominique had to get rushed to the hospital. Excuse me. What happened? Where is she? She's in surgery. Keisha, what happened? Keisha, talk to us. What happened? She's really distraught. <laughs> well, I know she needs to start talking, or she will be the next one in surgery. Jane. Dominique fell off the balcony at my house. She hit her head pretty bad, and, and she was complaining about her stomach. What? Wait a minute. What, what was she doing at your house on a balcony at 10 o'clock at night? You can talk. Marcus... Marcus. I just had some friends over tonight, and Dominique was with my friend's son on the balcony, and, and Marcus, somehow, somehow she fell off the balcony. Sweetheart, calm down, okay? Just relax, all right? Keisha. All I ask is that you take care of my child. That is it. Marcus, I do. This is not taken care of. Wait, Marcus, come on. Hey, it's not hey, fair. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Hi, hey Marcus. Frank. Hey, Keisha. Frank, Frank, is, is she okay? She's going to be fine, Marcus. Um, I've been here ever since they brought her in. However, she's still in surgery. But I, there is something I need to speak with you about. Would you mind joining me real quick? Sure. Okay. What, shouldn't I come? No, it's okay. You just stay here. Hey, Frank, Frank, what's going on? Just need to talk to Marcus for a second. It's going to be cool. You guys hang out. I'll check back with you in just a second, all right? Okay, sit tight. Marcus, follow me. Uh, hey, man, I need to know about my daughter. Frank. She's going to be fine, Marcus. I really do think so. However, the reason I wanted to talk to you was because when they gave me a call that Dominique was coming in, that she was your daughter, and that she would possibly need blood, I naturally prepared to take your blood. Okay, great. Uh, not so great. Looking back at your charts, Marcus, man, um, there is no way you can be Dominique's father with your blood type. What? I'm saying that your blood type is A, Keisha's blood type is A, however, Dominique's blood type is B. With that combination, there's no way that you can be Dominique's father. And 
Man, I'm, I'm sorry. Man, are you sure? Unfortunately, 100%, yeah. Look, look, um, let me go check and get an update on, on Dominic's progress, okay? Yeah, thanks. Take a moment to pull yourself together, and I'll check back in with you shortly, okay? All right, man, thanks. Right, again, man, it's your friend, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, nothing. He, I just had to uh, give blood. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Marcus? Did he say everything's gonna be okay? Did he say if everything is gonna be okay with Dominique? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's checking on her. You know, this does not make any sense. Why was she out so late? <laughs> right? Look, man, she's, she's gonna be fine. And how do you know that? It wasn't that bad of a fall. Yeah. You let her out on your second story balcony at 10 o'clock at night with some boy? Stop it, Marcus. I said that I'm sorry. My daughter is not gonna turn out like you. Marcus, come on, man, that's enough. Hey, guys, guys, everybody's getting a little emotional, okay? Let's just take a breath. <laughs> you take a deep breath, because you don't have any kids. Honey, this type of thing will make you catch a case. Marcus, listen to me. I have said that I am sorry, okay? I am sorry. All right, all I know right. Chris, all right. Up. You better go over there with your man. Angela, really? Can you just not think about this today? Can you? Marcus and I have a child together. Oh, yeah, you got one child. And you won't have another one. Now, I know you are... What? Well, we in the hospital. Good place to be after I beat your ass. Now, if I were you, I would go over there and sit down. You know, Marcus? No, come on, baby, come on. Sit you better get her. On, baby, Today ain't yeah, You better get her before Today she... Today is not hand 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 hand. Hand. I'm telling you, I swear to God, I'm telling you, Today is not Sit your little tired ass down. Angela, I swear to God, I swear to God, Angela, not today. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm trying to be cool. Hey, babe. Thank you. Oh, are you okay? I'm okay. Whew, okay, baby, I gotta get home so I can get MJ off to school. Okay. Hey, man, uh, guess I'm gonna get into the office. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get all these interviews pushed, all right? Don't worry about work, Marcus. I'm not worried about work. <clears throat> Good. Hey, Angel, I'll call you in a little while, okay? Hey, babe, love you. Mwah. Love See you, honey. You. See you. See you. On second thought, I think I'll stay. <laughs> Miss V can get MJ off to school. Babe, come on, it's fine. No, no, it's okay, I'll stay. Mm -hmm. What? Maybe you don't trust me? Maybe I trust you. It's that thing right there. Hey. <clears throat> Go home. Come on. OK, 
Okay. Bye, husband. This is pretty awful, huh? Yes, it is. I know I've said it tonight. But I need you to know I am so sorry. You know, I've, I've, I've tried my best to always be a good mother to Dominique. Yeah, I bet you have. Come on, Marcus. Can you, can you please give me a break? Please? I mean, it's hard. It's hard being a single parent. Single parent, huh? Yes. Because I've done it by myself. I have raised Dominique by myself. See, you should have been on your own. But you weren't. Because I was there supporting you with $5,000 a month for the last 15 years, Keisha. I know this, Marcus. And you don't get any applause or anything special for that because guess what? That is what you are supposed to do because you are her father. I'm a father. You know, the lowest thing that anyone has ever done to me is what you did. What are you talking about, Marcus? I'm not her father. You know what? You have lost your mind. I am not her father. This is ridiculous. Was it Kenny? Kenny. Yeah, I remember you used to date him. You know what? You know what? I I don't even care who it is. Because when I was thinking about it, I realized... You went with the one that you thought you can get the most money from. Marcus Williams. My daughter is in there having surgery, and you do this to me today? No, Keisha, you did this to yourself. Why don't you ever tell the truth? You always lie when the truth will do. Marcus, what? are you talking about? Keisha, with my blood type, Dominique cannot be my daughter. What are you talking about, Marcus? You heard me. You heard me. Marcus, that's not even possible. Really? Yes, really. There must be some kind of mistake. There has to be, because you are Dominique's father. You are Dominique's Father, you, you've, you've been her only father. It's you. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm. You're not her father? No, I'm not. You're not Dominique's father. You know that. Oh my God. <sighs> Damn it. Yes, Marcus, yes. It was always a small chance that you weren't her father. I wanted you to be Dominique's father. Oh, God. There it is, Marcus, there it is, okay? Marcus, what do we do now then, huh? What do we do? Are you, are you, are you going to leave me and Dominique? That's what's going to happen. Go ahead, Marcus, leave us. You're going to leave us? Is that what's going to happen, Marcus? Are you going to leave? Just please, wait a minute. I would never do that. I've loved that child since before she was born. Now, I would never do that, and I would never tell her this. I'm the only father she ever knows. You are her father. You worry about it, okay? Since so you're not, you can keep your child support check. How about that? 
Don't be ridiculous. No, I'm serious. Keep your check, because I don't want it. In fact, give it to Angela, because I got richer now. Mm-hmm. And Richard will take very good care of both me and Dominique. I need a moment. Don't miss brand new back-to-back episodes of For Better or Worse, next Friday at 9 on TBS. No. Don't cook me. Gets up in the middle of the night and turns up the thermostat. 85. 85. Leave the thermostat alone. Get my nerves. Better not touch it again. Serious. Better not touch it again. And I know you can hear me. Freezing. Oh, don't freeze me. I'm not ice cream. I'm not an Eskimo. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh, 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 Marcus. Gosh, it's freezing. lost your mind. What, you trying to kill me? Yeah, you don't know. My mom is my beneficiary, Marcus. It ain't you, okay? It ain't you. Don't you touch it again. You hear me? Take this off and strangle you. Gosh, don't touch it, Marcus. I'm freezing. Touch it again. Touch it again. Get off me, Satan. talk about this talk about what the thermostat okay all right let's talk about the thermostat i said it you shouldn't touch it that settles it good morning baby it is hot you know i don't like it cold angela it's it's so hot i can't even breathe in there i mean the, the devil couldn't even breathe in there Good. Maybe he'll stay the hell out of here. Very cute. Okay, okay. All right, let's try to work something out. 
Okay. I'm comfortable at 65. And I'm freezing at 65. Okay. I like it on 65. You like it on hell. Where do we compromise? Okay, uh, how about, uh, 80? Ezra, come on, please. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't we do this? Why don't we split the difference between 65 and 85? That would be 75. Yeah. Can we try that? Baby, that still might be too hot for me. Baby, can we just try... Okay, fine. Thank you. Ah, oh, we got to a good place here. Hold on. Why is it so quiet? What? Where's Miss V? Oh, I gave her the weekend off. Why? Because it was the nice thing to do. Since when did you start doing the nice thing? Never. I actually called her to come into work and she told me to go to hell. Because she had worked three weekends straight. That sounds like her. And where's MJ? Uh, MJ is at band camp all weekend. Yeah, yeah and I, um, I checked your schedule, baby. And it's all clear. Yeah, it is. So, baby, it's just uh, you and me. All weekend. Huh? Yeah, baby, I, I just figured we would spend the whole weekend together. The whole weekend, huh? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. Wow, what? Just wow. Honey, when was the last time you and I spent the entire weekend together? We do it all the time. Baby, no, we don't. No, we don't. We're together all weekend. But either I'm out running errands or you're out running errands or, or playing golf. You mean you're out running around spending money shopping? <laughs> Maybe this is a good idea. Well, you know, you spend money playing golf. So, yeah, maybe it is a good idea. You and me the whole weekend, huh? Yes. The entire weekend together, just you and me. And you sure I don't have any appointments? Oh, I'm sure, honey. You ain't got nothing. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's just you and I together, baby. Just the two of us in the house. I love it. There's no phones, no computers, no work, no little MJ running around. Oh, just the two of us. What do you think? Well, I think. Why do you want that? <laughs> Baby, because I, I just feel like it's, we should, we should do it. We, we should do that, you know, so we can get to know each other again. Baby, we got to get to know each other again. We've been married for almost 14 years. I know you. <laughs> Marcus. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. If you could tell me. The last time that you and I spent the entire weekend together alone, I might let you out of this. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Remember that time we went to that little hotel on the lake and we stayed inside all weekend and didn't even leave the room? When was this? It was a while ago. No, when? About 10 or 11 years ago. I, I just, I don't remember that. You had the blonde wigs? Remember we played the cop? I was a cop. 
were amazing. It was almost like you you just were like a different person. I mean, you, you just because I was. That wasn't me. That wasn't you? No. But that keep talking, you. keep talking. They don't tell me the late with the blonde wig and you the cop. Ken, what, what else happened? See, that's why we shouldn't spend time together. You know what, Marcus? I'm gonna let it slide because I'm changed. I'm a new person. I'm a new woman. I'm gonna let it slide. Because you know, Marcus, 10 years ago, you and I, we were having problems. Yeah, baby. Let that slide. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it in my mental roller deck. That really is a mental Rolodex. <laughs> okay, Marcus, just for that, you spending a whole weekend with me by yourself, just the two of us in the house, and we gonna have some fun. <laughs> what do you think? Uh -uh. Kill me now. Marcus, stop it. It's not gonna be that bad. You gotta help me out, please. Can can you can you call call the house and say that you got bitten by a snake, and you're at the emergency room at St. Leon's? Yeah, yeah. So go to St. Leon's and call from there, so it shows up on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know how to get there. You, you take Peachtree Northwest, then make a right on Peachtree Road Southeast. No, you you keep going. You you cross. Peachtree Rickety Bridge. <laughs> Baby. Hey, hey. I'm tired of looking all over this house for you. I was right here. Baby, what are you doing? Was just out here, just thinking about them um, planting a vegetable garden. A vegetable garden? Yeah, yeah. Baby, when you start getting into gardening? Baby, I've always wanted to grow tomatoes and okra, <laughs> plantain, and coconuts. And just stuff. You know what, baby? I think that's a good idea. You do? See, baby, that's why I love you. You are always thinking about ways to take care of our family. Yeah, 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 baby. So, you know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to go to the hardware store, and I'm going to buy some seeds. Oh, but wait, baby, wait a minute now. We can go and do that together. We? Oh, yeah. Oh, honey, yeah. I mean, we can plant. That's, that's what we could do to spend some time together. Shoot, I want to plant. I want to I want to do some gardening. I think I want to I want to plant some collard greens and some strawberries and some squash. Yeah. And some onions and red peppers. I think that's a good idea, baby. You and I can do that together as a little bonding thing, gardening. Yeah. I think we should just stay here and, and relax. And, and, and I'll go. I'll just come back one or seven hours later, and I'll just be back. Marcus, you and I are going to spend some time together, whether it kills you or me. Why do you want to kill me, babe? Why? <laughs> I can't take it. You so funny. Sit your behind down. I want to show you something. Come here, baby. Look. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm. Guess what this is? <laughs> Hope it's not puppies. Baby, come on. It's I found our wedding photos that didn't make it into our wedding album. 
And I was just thinking that maybe we can do a Marcus and Angela photo album two with the photos that didn't go into photo album one. The rejects. No, baby, come on. <laughs> and then we could do the gardening and, and the planting. And, and I'm telling you because, I mean, hey, we could plant and garden a lot of stuff, and I won't ever have to go to the grocery store again. <laughs> we could plant us some thyme. Yeah, we could plant some rosemary. Just organic stuff. You know people are into organic now. I like that, some fresh herbs. I love it. We're going to plant all of that stuff. But for right now, let's look at the photos. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that. You and me. Oh. Oh. Ah, baby, baby, this is Joseph. This oh. could be very oh, important. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not talking to Joseph, okay? I will talk to Joseph, all right? Hello, Joseph. How you doing? Yeah, this is Angela. Yeah, who else would it be? I'm gonna hurt him. Joseph, Marcus is busy. I'm sorry, he's spending time with his wife, yeah. I am very sorry that you're in the hospital right now. You're in the emergency room. Well, look, I'm sorry, but no. Marcus does not have time to be coming down to some emergency room. No, I'm sorry, but he's busy. He's spending time with his wife. Oh, you think just because you a friend in need that he's supposed to be leaving his house and his wife, I'm in need? <laughs> yeah, we're in the middle of, of looking at some photos, making a new photo album from our marriage, and then we're going to do a little bit of gardening. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that you hurt yourself and you in the hospital right now, but you give us a call or text us and let us know how it's working out, okay? <laughs> a matter of fact, why don't you call Leslie? Yeah, because we busy. We doing what married people do. Okay, yes, give us a call. You could even email us if you like. Okay, Joseph, bye. I know how to fix this. I'm cutting the phone off. Oh, Lord, kill me now. Oh, time. You can be such a cruel punisher. Marcus! Marcus! Where's he at? Marcus, where your ass at? Marcus! What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> gotcha! I'm just playing hide and go get, baby. <laughs> oh, so I see you want to be funny. You want to be funny. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sit your butt down. <sighs> Do you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Quiet. I love it. Don't you? No. It's scary. Honey, what's scary about it? Us talking. So you try to be funny, huh? You just a little funny girl today, huh? Mm. Oh, baby, so look, I got to show you something. Look at what I was just upstairs looking at. Bam! Oh, no, not the baby book. <laughs> Marcus Jr. baby book. Mm. Okay, look. 
Oh, baby, look at me when I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> look at how cute I was at belly. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, and look at the, the picture, the sonogram of MJ. Oh, he was so little and cute in there. He's still the same size. Oh, baby. And look, this was his first graduation. Oh, my baby. Same size. Oh, look at that little boy blowing out that little candle. His lips is... <sighs> yeah, he got... He blowing that candle, huh? But... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Look at that. That's his first day of school. Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? Sometimes not fast enough. <laughs> Baby, before you know it, gosh, it's going to be this quiet in the house the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to those days. I don't think I am. Well, they're coming. <laughs> Do they have to? What are you talking about? Well, baby, um, I was thinking that this, this is why I wanted to talk. Why? Oh. Why, baby? Oh, baby, because I want to have a baby. <laughs> huh? Hey, don't go anywhere. Another brand new For Better or Worse starts right now on TBS. Previously on For Better or Worse. So maybe it's just uh, you and me all weekend. You've been married for almost 14 years. I know you. If you could tell me the last time that you and I spent the entire weekend together alone, I might let you out of this. <laughs> Remember that time we went to that little hotel on the lake and we stayed inside all weekend and didn't even leave the room? That wasn't me. <laughs> See, that's why we shouldn't spend time together. Okay, Marcus, just for that, you spending the whole weekend with me by yourself, just the two of us in the house, and we gonna have some fun. <laughs> Bam! Oh, no, not the baby book. Oh, baby, because I want to have a baby. Huh? Can you say that again? Yeah. I want to have another baby. I mean, can you not say that again? Why? Marcus, I want to have another baby. I can't even hear you right now. Marcus. See, no, this is why married couples shouldn't talk. We should never talk because things like this come up. But I think that we should talk. This is good. We need to talk about this. Angela, we can't even agree on the temperature in the bedroom. How are we going to agree on something like this? Marcus. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? Mm -mm, no, I didn't. No, I did not start thinking about a baby until I started looking at that photo album. Well, stop looking at that photo album. <laughs> Will you stop it? Just stop it, stop it, stop it, Marcus. We're just talking. Can you 
tell me why we're doing this thing again? What do you mean? This talking thing. <laughs> I mean, what do you have up your sleeve? Why are we doing this? So that we can get our communication back together. We communicate just fine. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. How? You tell me what to do and I do it. Okay. All right. Fine. Then I want to have another baby. Come on, come on, hot too. Come on. Angel, keep going. Come on, baby time, baby time, baby time, come on. No, you said that you you can't make a baby that way. Uh uh, you cannot make a baby that way. You wanna do what I say. Angela, we communicate just fine without this. Our life is the same old thing every day. Every day is the same old thing every day. Sit down. <laughs> this is our life. Okay? Sit there. I go off to work, right? Okay. Going to work. All right. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I come back in from work looking fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Oh. And what do you say? Hey, Angela, how was your day? I say, Marcus, my day was fabulous. <laughs> and I say, Marcus, how was your day? And then you say, fabulous? <laughs> and then what we do? We get MJ, right? Yeah, MJ. We talk to MJ. We say, hey, MJ, how was your day in school? My day was fine. And then me, you, and MJ. Come on. Come on. Me, you, and MJ. And, and MJ. We sit down and we look at TV. And then we have a snack. Baby, you about to eat MJ. And then we go to bed. And you know what's so great about that? What? Not one mention of a baby. Not one. Marcus. Oh. I'm not getting any younger. Right about that. Marcus, you know that sooner or later, I won't be able to have any more children. Yeah, that's right. And why are you smiling at that? Sorry. Marcus, I feel like this is the best time of our life. These are the best days of our life. And I mean, they just, they just passing us by. Look at it. Look at it. It's just leaving, passing us by. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. And another baby would not make that better. You're not even listening to me. Okay. Finally got it. Marcus. Look, Angela, do you remember all those nights having to feed little MJ in the middle of the night? No. Right, because I did it. Thanks. And do you remember taking him to the emergency room almost every week for a month because he had asthma? No. Right, because I did it. Do you remember changing all those diapers? No. Right, me, I did it. Really? Really? Good for you. <laughs> See there, baby, you're a great father. So what do you think, Marcus, about us having another baby? I don't think anything about us having any more kids. I already have kids. 
we have kids. You see that? You selfish, Marcus. You sell I already have kids. Yeah, you have a boy and a girl. I want a daughter. Angela, please. Please what? <laughs> you can't just say, I want to have a daughter and then have a daughter. <laughs> what if you have a boy? Well, then I have a boy then. <laughs> See, you're not listening to me. Angela, just please. Please what, Marcus? Please what? Angela, I, I finally got these kids to an age where we're not picking up after them all day. And they're finally turning into young adults. So let's just, just keep molding these kids and not start some new ones. Really? Yes. Yes. Really. Well, Marcus, come on. You don't want to just at least think about it? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh. Whew. Thank you. Oh, appreciate it, honey. I'm going upstairs. Thought about it. The answer is no. are cards that I ordered from Dr. Patricia. Dr. Patricia cards? Yes. How to ignite the decade-long marriage. <laughs> cards that are designed to make you laugh and cry. Well, see how they can make you cry. I now, come on, Marcus. Be a good sport now, okay? Get a better attitude, being funky. This is how it works. I pick a card. You tell me how you feel after I read what's on the card. Or you pick a card, and then I tell you how I feel after you read what's on the card. Okay? It gets our little communication juices flowing. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes, Marcus. All right, you know what? I'll go first since you got such a funky attitude. <sighs> this is ridiculous, Angela. Come on, baby. A poem that describes our love. Come on, let me hear it. I gotta say it. Roses are red and violets are blue. I can't get away because you're stuck to me like glue. Oh. Wow, that's kind of romantic. It is? That means I'm the glue that keeps you together. That's what you meant, right? Yeah, you're so analytical, babe. Well, baby, sometimes you can say the sweetest things. The sweetest things. Mm. Uh, okay, come on. Your turn. Okay. Come on. Uh, uh, slow dance. Baby, you want to know what I think about when I hear that? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Uh, I want to dance. I want to slow dance. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Baby, let's dance. Come on. There's no music. Honey, it's okay. I can sing. Don't you do me I love you. <laughs> God, what did I do in my life to deserve this kind of torture? A whole weekend in my house with my wife? Marcus! No, 
Look at you over there. <laughs> Baby, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were trying to hide from me. What would give you that idea? <laughs> Market, looking at those watches. <laughs> Oh, remember that watch I got you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that night. That night, time stood still. Time still standing still. Marcus, come on, baby. Aren't you having fun at home with your wife? Huh? Come on, baby. So, uh, honey, what do you want to talk about? I'm good. Oh, come on, Marcus. Come on, sit down. There has to be something that you want to talk about. How about those braves? <laughs> we are not about to talk about football. Okay. All right, babe, so really, what, what do you want to talk about? You don't want to talk about your, your emotions? <laughs> Your feelings when you were a child. Baby, I'm good. Nothing? No. Nothing. So everything is fine with me? You don't have nothing to say? Okay, so then I guess that I am doing everything good as a wife. I'm super wife. Well, no, I didn't say all that. Well, that must be what you mean if you don't have nothing to say. What it means is I'm smart. Holding things in is not smart, Marcus. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That is not communication, Marcus. Yes, it is. How? It's the kind of communication that causes no wars or friction. Okay. Then I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. Great. Sleeping in 85 degrees. <laughs> Angela, come on, stop it with the 85. Leave that. You know what? Angela, it just came over me. I was just thinking about what you said. And you know what? It's making more sense. We are in a much better place than we were when MJ was a baby. Yeah, I mean, we're in a better place in our relationship. We're in a better place financially. And... We could hire help if we want to have another baby. Really? Yeah. You know, it'd be nice to have some little feet running around here again. Aww. And MJ, he still got little feet running around. <laughs> right? Oh, babe. I just think that we have a whole lot of love to offer a child. Yeah, yeah. We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Yeah, babe. Yeah. You know what I was just thinking about? Huh? Remember all the morning sickness that you had? <laughs> yeah. And how big you got? And how your nose spread so wide, looked like a two-car garage. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and how miserable you were. Yeah. All the crying, the gas, <laughs> the legs swollen up. Mm-hmm. Four months of bed rest. Mm. Yeah, baby. You about to go crazy. I remember that too. 
All you do is just lay there in that bed. That's all I could do. Mm. That would fit you anymore? Yeah, right. And those stretch marks. My goodness. <laughs> Whew, took you a long time to get rid of them. <laughs> and then the labor. Huh. 37 hours straight. That was painful. Mm. But you know, I remember you almost broke my fingers. You was in so much pain. You were squeezing my hand so hard. Whew. But you know, baby, for you, I'll go through all of that again. Um, you know what, Marcus, on second thought, um, I think that maybe I should just think about this baby thing a little longer. <laughs> like three years. <laughs> or hey, even until I get to menopause. You sure, baby? Come on now. Oh, I'm sure. I I'm mean, sure. come on. We, we got to work on this baby. Come oh, on. No, 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 no. Let's work on it now. No. Come on, baby. Come on. It's baby time. Oh, no. Come on. Baby time. Go to bed. Go to bed. That's what I'm trying to do, baby. So Marcus, stop it. Okay, Marcus, stop, stop, stop. I'll sleep in 65 degrees. Okay? You know what we do to warm each other up? Marcus, no. I don't want my body to stretch. No, no, Marcus, I want to fit in my clothes. I want to fit in your clothes, baby. Come on. Touch it and die. Well, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> ah! oh, it's just a little shock therapy. You'll be fine. <laughs> Good night. Don't go anywhere. Another for better or worse starts right now on TV. Càng dài nha Thân leo 